you can ask your man Chris and Jack about how I feel about the history of football and, and those things are special to me so this is a very special goal for me and for 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 Canada and you know it's just it's just another step in the right direction but we know we still got a lot of work to do. Well, oh, so we are going to ask our man Christian Jack, but not about your love of the history of football, about you. That's right. Let's head on over to the board with KJ and just Osorio's vision on the pitch. Yeah, indeed. Let's look into what was a truly man-of-the-match performance by Jonathan Osorio at the Estadio Azteca against Mexico. You know you've made it as a Canadian international when the Mexicans are talking about you the next day in their press. Let's have a look exactly what we liked about Jonathan Osorio's positioning, particularly in this first half of the game. Now, we started off in a midfield four. We're going to see that today probably on the right-hand side. There's your midfield four with Estacchio and Kay, and then Davies will play it out. I want to show you what he's able to do in that first 11 minutes. First of all, he comes inside to make up the numbers initially but then understands you've got to get back while playing in that system to understand when Lozano goes up against Johnston. Just look at how he understands the positioning of the player. This is Chucky Lozano who wants to come inside all the time on his right foot. Alistair Johnson knows that and Azorio is right out there to cover that and make sure that they're covering those situations. That wasn't the case later in the half. We're going to explain why. It actually led to one of the goals that Mexico scored. Play it through for me at this moment and just look at Azorio's positioning. Always got the ball, his eye on the ball, an exemplary defender in that position. Now Canada made a change about 15 minutes into the game and he started to play inside in this, cha in, 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 this, in this area here in the half space. He's already got his hand out. You can see what he wants here is he wants balls played out to Johnston to create those triangles and those patterns in areas to overlap Mexico in wide areas. This, in this case, Estacchio, who played out, decides to go in a different direction, but it wasn't the last time that Osorio wanted the ball. We see it again in, in an area of space here. As Alistair Johnston comes in and Mark Anthony Gate, here he is again the half space you can see against Alvarez this is a critical matchup he turns right there don't forget this. When he looks, he's an unbelievable scanner of the field. His intelligence on the field is second to none for me in a Canadian shirt. He sees Tejon Buchanan isolated out there, and he never forgets it. Remember that more than anything else as we see what happens and you play it through here. He understands Buchanan's position, and as you play it through, as soon as he gets the ball, he wants to give it Buchanan because he knows he's out there. But as, he, as the play develops, and we pause it right there, now he scans the field and he sees something differently. Now he still remembers where Buchanan is, and he understands understands that is the ability for Canada to get that ball. And as he's going to play it through to Jonathan David, watch what happens next. This run here is not to get the ball. This is what Jonathan Azorio is very good at. He's late runs into the box, but selfish, forget that, is not a word for him. He's selfless. Makes the run there to open this space up to get the ball through. And now he's made that run. Look where he is. If this ball comes into where that space needs to be, that's what he's really good at too, making those runs into the box in the right position, and he's there to touch it home. It just happens to go further on, but look how much work he puts in for that area. Again, in the half spaces, again, this time, He's going to want to see, receive that ball. We're going to pause it there. Just look how his body language goes down a little bit like that. He puts his hands down because he wanted the play to play through here. He doesn't give up on the play. Let's play it through. And then this area on the left-hand side was a lot of numbers overlapping. Watch Azorio. This is his strength. He runs into the box and he doesn't stop there. We'll pause it right there. And what I want to show you here is the Larea shot will happen in a second. If Larea plays this ball here, he's got a chance to score. Remember this reference point for the very next play and how he scored his goal. See how open he is? Because he was able to run across Gallardo and be intelligent in his movement. This is the goal and the build-up to the goal. Again, in the half space, a difficult place to defend. You've got your Mexico back four. Alvarez is covering here with Guardado. This is his office. Again, he's now moved centrally. Look for today. They may switch with Miller today to play almost as a number 10 second striker in the half space. Let's play it through and look how he's already pointing out the play. This time it will work. This time we didn't get it last time. We're going to create that overlap and that triangle in wide areas because of Alistair Johnson leaves Chucky Lozano, Estacchio plays, and now look at this. This is where Canada are at the dangerous moments. You see Estacchio's played in. You've got three here all combining to get around the Mexican defense. Play it through again, and Azorio is absolutely integral to that movement because his ability to find space, win balls back as well, and I want to play this through. I don't want to cut this as an edit. I want to just play it on. I want to show you what happens here. Watch how many times he moves his head. Two. Just count how many times he does it. Three, scanning the field. Four, five. And the ball's not even thrown in. Six. He's reading everything. Seven. Eight times nine. And he's still reading it. And now, again, 
back to what I was saying before, selfless run. This run is not to get the ball. This run is to create the space here so Alvarez doesn't come out and it allows Davies to come in. This is the run that sets up the goal right away. Alvarez has to go deeper. Alfonso Davies sees him and now he's back into that space again intelligently. So Davies can play it through. He plays it through and he gets his heroic goal all because of his selfless running again and his ability to read the play. I mean, for me, most undoubtedly one of the most intelligent players on the pitch, no question about it, against Mexico. Ollie, I know you were there. He's the kind of player when you watch live, you just grow more appreciation for, isn't he?